I spend way too much time in my own head. I feel like I'm constantly battling my brain and I don't know when or if it's going to end. I think a lot of us distract ourselves with whatever we can find to limit the amount of time we spend overthinking, stressing, and eventually spiraling. But sometimes we end up falling victim to ourselves. It's really scary when you hit a breaking point and you have no clue what to do or who to turn to. You're just stuck surviving, begging for anything to make you feel better. And two years ago, I was in such a state of desperation where I was gonna latch onto the first thing that gave me some sort of release. And thankfully, that was music. I remember writing my first song and having an instant feeling of relief. For the first time in years, I was able to communicate all the shit that I was going through. And at that point, something clicked in my head and I knew this was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I was always writing and when I decided to record some songs, I would sit on my bed and sing into my phone. <laughs> if it wasn't for music, I probably wouldn't be alive right now. It was and will always be my therapy. The past year has been so exciting. I had my first session, I came out to LA for the first time where I met so many talented and honest people who have welcomed me with open arms, treated me like family and really given me a second home. I've been slowly falling in love with being alive, which is a feeling I honestly never thought I would have. I've grown a lot and been exposed to so much, which is great, but also terrifying. I know I'm where I'm supposed to be, but I still constantly doubt myself. I'm fucking scared. It's difficult to figure it out when you're being overstimulated. At points I've lost touch with who I am and I've let my overthinking get the best of me. I'll have an opportunity to add some positivity in my life, but instantly distance myself because the thought that something might go wrong is paralyzing. For instance, when I traveled to LA for the first time, I met some amazing people and knew that I wanted to stick by their side for as long as I could, but the second I got back home, I was consumed by the idea of having more friends equals more funerals that I'll attend. And it's thoughts like that that have sent me into depressive episodes. The thing is, as much as I can change my surroundings, I will never be able to escape my brain. But knowing that there's people out there that go through what I go through, and even though we all have our own stories, we can still relate to one another is the most encouraging thing. The feeling of safety is highly underrated, and I just hope that my music can make you feel safe.